So here we are cruising eastbound at 35,000 feet. We are flying into the sunrise. Of course, that's a bit of a misnomer, but it's not the sun that's rising. It's the Earth that's rotating eastbound to reveal the sun. I've drawn a black line across the screen. The black line rep represents my eye level and level for airplane. That is the direction that the airplane is headed. Any cloud underneath a black line is going to cross underneath us. Any cloud above a black line is going to cross above us. As we play the video here, keep an eye on two things. Keep an eye on the black level line, your eye level. Make sure that that's where the airplane is traveling to. And keep an eye on the horizon line and the relationship between level and the horizon. These two things will become important later on in the video. We brought along a few flat earthers with us. Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters, and debunkers. Oh, Jesus, it's too early for this shit. Hey, Tulin, how about that view? Look at these clouds. Wow, they resemble turtles. You guys see the turtles? Flying turtles. <laughs> turtles, eh? Just amazing, folks. Just look at these views of the dream. And we can sort of see a curve. It's like, it's both flat, but it's also round. What is that phenomena? When you look at the videos and pictures from this altitude, don't look at the curve. There's a very good chance the curve is distorted by the GoPro wide-angle lens. Don't look for the horizon curve, look for the horizon dip, which is curvature going away from us. But don't take my word for it. Here's Flat Earther Sewer Rats to tell us more about the angle between level and the horizon. In your globe, you have to project a line from the center of the Earth going through the surface to do a right angle. This right angle in the real world is your horizontal line. In your globe, it's not your horizontal line, it's merely right angles to a straight line. Your horizontal line drops from that right angle and it drops to the horizon at some point because you can't have the horizon being on this line because that would mean, well, that the Earth was flat. If you drop that level further because you've increased your elevation, then it starts getting quite drastic. It starts getting to the point where it really is a bit unreal. You're angling down at like three degrees. Here we are, level flight, 35,000 feet. Put the crosshairs on the horizon, and here is the angle. You're angling down at like three degrees. Yes, we are. Three degrees. Right, you are. Here's another picture I wanted to share with you. I put the, the crosshairs on the cloud deck. Here's the horizontal drop angle, negative 0 0.5. And that's consistent with what we've been seeing the whole flight where we've been skimming the clouds. Just wanted to zoom in on the horizon a little bit and have a look at that. It's, it's a beautiful horizon. Let's have a look at the details. Now we're going to zoom in. So here is our eye level, and below that we have what would appear to be curvature, okay? So there you go. Perspective is the curve. It's not perspective. It's horizon dip. It's a curvature verve looking away from a viewer. Thank you for your time, Flatties. That was excellent, especially you, Mr. Stewart-Rats. I really enjoyed your explanation. There you have it, the globe earth as proven by the flat earthers. You're welcome. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're gonna be debunking all things flat earth related to aviation as we go along here. It's, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Or what do you think, globe or flat? I'd like to think that was a fairly convincing presentation, but if you think flat, please do comment below. I'm going to play you off with a little hyperlapse. Uh, a couple of cool things to look for. Look for the orange glow uh, on the clouds as the clouds are being lit from below. And look for the two sunrises, once above the horizon and then once again above the cloud deck. Enjoy. See you next time.